Hello everybody, Ray Garner with Garner's Games. Here to do my weekly comic review. And our book this week, Witchblade, number one. Uh, return of a very, very popular character. Um, now this book here is brought to us, once again, by Top Cow slash Image. Margaret Bennett is the writer. And very impressed with her work on this book. I would really love to try to say the um, artist, I've read in the back where he is an Italian, and he has a very Italian name, and my Texas accent cannot pronounce it correctly, so I'm going to spell it instead. It's G-I-U-S-E-P-P-E, -P -P -E. his last name is C-A-F-A-R-O, or A-R-O, yeah. Um, I would just butcher that name, so I'm not going to insult the man by trying to say it. Anyway, this is a complete and total relaunch of Witchblade. This is basically a new origin, um, influenced by the original, but definitely not a copy. Uh, we, you know, once again, are dealing with Sarah. She is a New York police officer. This really goes into some of her background very, very quickly. Uh, she's special ops. Um, her father, of course, was killed by corrupt cops again. Uh, and of course, you know, Kenneth Irons is trying to get the Witchblade. They chase it across the world as it looks for its new host, which of course is Sarah. Um, a lot of people die uh, by the hands of the Witchblade or his pursuers, or just random people not knowing what's going on and reacting to it. The art in this is stunning, in my opinion. It is. Actually, better than some of the, I won't say the original, original Witchblade run, but some of the latter Witchblade runs, the art was not near this level. Uh, the print quality is great. I love the story. I love the fact that we're once again focusing on Sarah being a cop who gets kind of tossed into this world of, you know, mythical uh, artifacts, and I assume eventually mythical creatures will start showing up. Um, but it's always been one of my favorite parts of Witchblade is that, you know, at the heart, it's a cop who gets sucked into this crazy world. Um, you know, this splash page alone is probably worth half the cover price of this book. Uh, I like the fact that basically... Two pages after the halfway point of this book, we get into a huge background of our creator te creative team. Uh, we get, you know, a few words from the original creator, you know, Mark. And then after that, it's a lot of developmental sketches. Uh, so there's an art page showing some of the process between from line, from pencil to line to final product. And it's just a collection of just beautiful art at the back. Uh, one of the major differences that may uh, be noticed by some of the male readers is that the Witchblade is a little more covering than the older versions were. Um, but, you know, it is still, you know, amazing how well this character is drawn. How, you know, just stunning the absolute artwork is throughout it. Uh, the story is solid you know if you like police drama type stuff i mean we're dealing with corrupt cops things like that and then all of a sudden we go into the myth mystical uh if you've ever liked witchblade this book is definitely a must-have um if you're not familiar with witchblade and you like any kind of mystical or pseudo horror comics or if you like more police drama type situations like um I don't I just drew a blank on my wife's favorite deal. Uh, Law and Order, uh, SUV, you know, Chicago, uh, Chicago PD, any of those type of shows. I think you will like this book. This book is extremely good. I uh, highly recommend it. Uh, please check it out. And uh, be careful what you wish for. Sometimes I guess. Next, see you next week.